Okay, everyone, this is Craig at 1996 Television, and it is now time for my, I think it's my seventh game of Double Dare for the NES. And, while well, I keep my run going on this game, pretty much I have a good run so far, so here we go. Like to be, no. Like to be that guy, because he's my favorite. Let's play Double Dare. We like the ball on a Double Dare, but let's, let's play it. Pretty much we get the point. Oh, that was close. That's one. That was nowhere even near. Oops. Yes! Got it! $10 and control the questions. This question is worth $10. In baseball, what is the full count? Four balls and three strikes? Three balls and two strikes? Or two balls and zero strikes? I'm going to say A. No. Three balls and two strikes. Uh, thought... Go over to the cooties now. This question is worth ten dollars. Which is not in the color of the pack of M&Ms? Orange. It was. It was brown. No, I'm sorry. It was blue. The question is worth ten dollars. Back to us now. Which author wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Journey to the Center of the Earth? A. Jacques Cousteau, B. Jules Verne, or Max Hedrum? Jules Verne. This question is worth $10. In England, the slang expression gazumped means you've been what? Eating too much gazoopa soup and cutting school, or cheating and then buying a horse? I'm, I would, eh, I'm probably cheating on a house. I'm going to have to say eating too much soup. Of course not. I don't even have no idea what the hell gazumped me mean. Okay, cheating on buying a house. In which state will you find the most western point in the U.S.? Alaska, he said. Yep. This question is worth ten dollars. Which old TV family, creepy, spooky, and kooky, and all together ooky, the Adams family, of course, the monsters, or Jeffersons? Now we're in a tie. When the U.S. Post Office was first established, who was its first head? A. Alexander Hamilton. B. Mr. Zip Code. No. The correct answer was Ben Franklin. Forgot to say his name, I'm sorry. But now we're back to the crabs. That's my team. According to the song, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, what was born in which state? I'm gonna have to, gonna I'm gonna just take a dare on this one. Cause I got no idea. Oh! Dang, now I know it was Missouri. Shit. I'm really hoping it's not Iowa, Tennessee, or Missouri. No. So now they get the $40. 
It was Tennessee. <sighs> Composer Ludwig Ving Beethoven was a native of which country? A Sweden, B Germany, or C Hungary? No. The correct answer is Germany. This question is worth ten dollars. Dr. Robert Javark designed the Jarvik 7. What is the Jarvik 7? A an arm for heart. A maxim from polio or spacecraft. I'm gonna say an I was have to say a spacecraft, please. No. An artificial heart. Oh no. Oh. That's the end of round one. Not doing a very good job here. Round two, double vi dollar values are doubled. Oops. That's one. Two. Forty dollars. This question is worth twenty dollars. What do Superman's boots match? His shirt, his cape, and Lois Man's new part. His cape, of course. Lois Lane's new purse, I'm sorry. $20. Now in a tie for the cooties. This question is worth $20, people. Here's a TV family math problem. Add the numbers of boys on Kate and Nally, Mr. Beard Beaver, and Growing Pains. How many are there? Oh boy. I'm gonna have to say. I'm gonna have to take a dare on this one. They say five. Huh. One hundred dollars. <sighs> In the Hagger, the horrible comic strip, who is Helga? Haggard's twin sister, Haggard's wife, or Haggard's mother? Another hundred and forty dollars will come to them. I'm going to say Haggard's wife. Oh, never mind. We got $100, a tie. The old saying tells you one, one of these fruits a day keeps the doctor away. Which one is it? A, a banana, B, an apple, or C, a grape? An apple, of course. This question is worth $20. Which kind of writing is Tennessee Williams famous for? Poetry, TV commercials, or playwriting? I'm going to say playwriting. Can't either it's poetry or playwriting, because it can't be TV commercials. It is playwriting! Alright, $140. How did the bikini bath suit get its name? From a, an island in the Pacific? From a French word meaning its belly button? Or from its designer, Bikini? I'm going to have to say from its designer. Because I got no idea whatsoever. From an island in the Pacific. I knew it wasn't B. There was no dare, so neither team gets the money.
which U.S. state is closest to Russia? Alaska, Hawaii, or Michigan? If I would say anything at all, I am going to say Alaska. Either Alaska or Hawaii, because it can't be Michigan. $180, alright. This question is worth $20. What, what is the distance that light travels in one year? A, 365 miles. B, one light year. A par second. Uh, I am going to have to say one light year. I got no idea whatsoever. Oh, it is a light year. $200. This question is worth $20. In a battle, what when one side waves a white flag, what does this mean? Let's declare a truce. I give up or I win. I'm going to have to say... Yeah. Going for the dare, people. I regret it, but I'm going for it. Oh, a double dare. Sheesh. You know what? Let's take the physical challenge, because I got no idea, so... Let's go for it. So, what was the correct answer to that one? Kangaroo catch. Good day, mate. You're Kangaroo Fun D, and you need to catch three very kangaroos in your pouch. Press the button to flip them in the air. I have 20 seconds. Darn it. Got it! Yes! $260! Oh, I'm sorry, 280. I made a mistake on my part. Notorious is a song sung by which group? A. Dron Dron. B. The Fat Boys. Or D. The C. The James Brothers. I'm going to say Duran Duran. All right then, 300 dollars. That is the end of the game. And we are the winners with $300. I mean, that uh, physical challenge really helped me there. All right. Gotta be climbing up the mountain again. I don't know if I can make up that. Move it. <laughs> oh, don't slow down. Bye. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Time's up. Oh well. I'm actually made it, and I made it very far too. So the double their prices were the watch and the usual stuff. 
stereo, pool table, BMX bike, cabin gear, and then NES. So there you have it. Seventh game of Double Dare done. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Despite the first round being difficult, that physical challenge really made me come back. So I do hope you enjoyed my seventh game. There will be an eighth game out soon. But for now, I'm going to see you guys next time on the Craig S. 1996 television channel.